All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Joy Behar of The View. These women on The View, man, are complete idiots. They are complete idiots. They're definitely trying to politicize what's actually going on over there in East Palestine. And uh, Joe Biden has completely ignored the American people over there in East Palestine. You know what? It probably actually has a lot to do with um, East Palestine. That is MAGA country right there. MAGA country. Donald Trump won that area by 40 points. And Joe Biden is more concerned about Ukraine's border and the Ukrainian people. He does not care about you. Now, Donald Trump actually showed up over there in East Palestine. He actually brought something that um, the people over there need water. The water is toxic over there. I mean, people don't want to drink the water. They don't want to shower. They don't want to brush their teeth. Trump shows up over there. And he does what Joe Biden actually should be doing. This is a huge win for Donald Trump right here in the 2024 presidential election. Joe Biden does not look good. Joe Biden is a globalist. He is an America last person. He doesn't care about Americans. He cares about legals and he cares about Ukraine. He does not care about you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you people, you Democrats that voted for him. He does not care about the American people. You guys need to wake up. But that brings us to our Joy Behar. Joy Behar is actually really trying to blame Donald Trump for this whole thing. You notice some guys know some not not just this instance right here. Anytime there's a major, major fumble of the football from Joe Biden. The leftist media, liberal media, they always blame Donald Trump. Donald Trump has not been in office for two years. Every time something goes bad, they blame Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not in power. Now, with the whole toxic chemical stuff, they're blaming Donald Trump because of the policies he he actually put in place. However, Donald Trump hasn't been in power in two years. If if Joe Biden actually did hate what Donald Trump did, he could have reversed it. And they never did it. So the people on The View, the women on The View are trying to do damage control and protect their Lord and Savior, Joe Biden. Look at this. Joy Behar says East Palestine residents got what they deserved after voting for Trump. And you know what? This take was so bad, guys, that the audience on The View, who usually actually agrees with the uh, panel, they gasped on this. They were in shock by this horrific take by Joy Behar. I mean, this this take is horrific, guys. Let's go ahead and play this clip right here. Uh, Jack Posobiec actually tweets out breaking. Joy Behar says East Palestine got what they deserve because they voted for Trump. That's who you voted for. Th- this is just shocking. Let's go ahead and play this clip, guys. Lay down regulations for a second, because it seems to me that the Republicans are obsessed with this notion of the free market, and they don't like a lot of regulations. Because it means profit. We need to deregulate yeah. to get profit. But they, I know. Part of but, deregulation so, for example, is the, workers, the, There were which... very few plane crashes, thank God. And that's because the industry is highly regulated. We have to pay for regulations yeah, it, and safety standards. Biggest, Otherwise, where are we? We're all going to go up in flames. Norfolk Southern gives as much to Democrats as Republicans. It's a very powerful yeah. lobby that is trying to block regulation. And this train, to Sarah's point, two miles long with two full-time employees and a trainee on it. This and they didn't that even wipe need out to. An entire, because yeah. the last administration rolled it down to only one to having worker. One. They happened to have but two. One thing and I just want to say is I do think this was an unforced error by President Biden. It was 20 days before we had Secretary Buttigieg go down, 10 days before he put out a statement acknowledging it. Yeah. This is Trump country. He won by 40 points. It, it, he, won, he is a president for all Americans. I believe that, but he needs to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alyssa Farrell, Beijing Biden is a president for all Americans. She, she believes that. She actually did say that. You know, Man, my goodness. Joe Biden is not a president for all Americans. He despises people that didn't vote for him. Joe Biden is the worst occupier of the Oval Office ever. 
ever. But, you know, she's even running up for Joe Biden. He's a he's a president for all all. Amer- no, he's not. He's not. If he truly was, he would have showed up to East Palestine instead of actually going over there to Ukraine and then Poland. And he and believe it or not, guys, I believe FEMA still hasn't actually declared an emergency to help the people over there. But yet we're spending billions of dollars on Ukraine. I am so frustrated with the Biden administration and people on the mainstream media that actually go to bat for people like Joe Biden. Let's let's continue on to show Today, that he is. But it was time for him to people be. I don't know why they would ever vote for him because for somebody who, who, by the way, he placed someone with deep ties to the chemical industry in charge of the EPA's chemical safety office. That's who you voted for in that district. Donald Trump, who reduces all safety, he yeah. did. Do in they those showed days. up at Do McDonald's and those voters yeah, but, saw something on the ground that yeah. probably it, resonates in a way that the they thing. need. Yeah, but they need to look past the photo of ops, these people, and Wait. say who's doing the job here. Forget about the photo op. Showing up is a big Showing thing. Showing up, though. I think, is I think this community. is Donald Trump's fault. That blaming Donald Trump. This is Donald Trump's fault. When Joe Biden has been in power for two years. Years, two years and didn't change any type of regulations. He made no changes. But this is what happens, man. And and when the view starts attacking people for not voting for Joe Biden, supporting Donald Trump, that's a major problem to me. That is a bit time problem to me. She is blaming them. For what happened over there in East Palestine. I mean, are they going to blame um? Little kids, too. Little kids. Are they not concerned, I should say, about little kids? Families with little kids. They can't drink that water. I would not drink that water at all. Donald Trump actually is doing something to actually help the people. Joe Biden is doing nothing, nothing. And Joe Biden still plans on running for 2024. You know what? You Democrats, when it comes to the primaries, you guys better actually look at this. Look at this and see how Joe Biden has failed the American people. You guys should actually get somebody else on a Democrat ticket. I don't know if it'll happen, but you know what? If Joe Biden actually gets the Democrat nomination, he should get crushed for how he's destroyed this country. And this is a prime example right here why he should not be in office. When you abandon the American people and he's done it before, he left Americans behind over there in Afghanistan with that botched withdrawal. Left Americans behind. He let a notorious arm dealer go for a WNBA player that hates this country. Joe Biden has failed the American people time after time after time again. How much more evidence do you actually need? How much more evidence do you need? But Joy Behar wants to to attack the people of East Palestine. Trying to politicize this thing. It shouldn't be political. Those people need help. And Joe Biden isn't doing anything about it. Donald Trump is the only one. Now, there's another clip out there. I'm not going to play it here. I didn't actually find it, but I've seen it. Where they're actually slamming Donald Trump for bringing Trump water to the people over there that need it. Those people need water. Donald Trump brought his own brand of water. And it has Trump on it. I don't care what it actually says on it. As long as it's actually drinkable and you can brush your teeth, you can bathe with whatever. But even the women on the view slam Donald Trump to that because the women on the view are un-American. They don't care about Americans. They care about Democrats. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks.